I am Dr. Kalpesh Dati, and I welcome you all to SRCC Children's Hospital, managed by Narayana Health. In continuing with our video interviews, today we have with us our consulting dermatologist in pediatrics, Dr. Praveen Banodkar, and we are going to talk to him about common problem faced by teenagers, that's acne. So. Dr. Praveen, we get lot of teenagers coming to us with concerns regarding their looks mm -hmm. and they are very worried about one thing, uh, that's acne. So, can you tell us something about it? So, please tell us what is an acne? Yes. So, it's a very interesting topic, uh, very commonly seen topic by, uh, you know, everybody. Um, so, acne is uh, also a word which is more medical, or layman words, you know, pimples basically. So, acne and pimples are the same. Uh, many people sometimes, you know, uh, differ between them. Um, so, acne are nothing but uh, prolonged inflammation or uh, irritation of certain oil glands that are placed commonly on the face. So, these oil glands are located on the face, especially something called the T-zone of the face, which is your nose, your forehead, your cheek area and your chin. Um, acne are also uh, or pimples which uh, tend to happen because of inflammation on the chest area, on the back and uh, on the lower part of the neck as well. Now these oil glands when they get inflamed, uh, when they get irritated, they form certain small swellings on the skin which can be red, can be yellow filled with pus, can be very painful in some uh, children. So this is what is defined as acne. Yes. So uh, Dr. Tell us what is the cause of this pimples and why only few people get it and not everybody? So, acne can be caused because of a genetic predisposition. Uh, there are many children whose parents have uh, acne, family members like their brothers, sisters, their cousins also may be having acne. And this genetic predisposition uh, normally results in more uh, tendency to get acne. Uh, how genetics causes this is that it causes certain small changes in those oil glands which I told you are one of the main causes and that makes them more prone to acne. They become more sensitive to hormone changes in the body. So, genetics is one of the most important causes of acne. There are uh, different other factors which are trigger factors that can you know trigger or aggravate acne in certain uh, patients or children that we see which can be uh, certain lifestyle changes if they are very obese, if they are eating a lot of fried food, foods with uh, increased uh, their sugar contents, a lot of uh, you know pastries, colas, sodas or sweets that they have sudden increase the sugar and that can trigger acne. If um, uh, children are not exercising much, if they are gaining weight, uh, then you have hormonal pathways that can trigger acne. Um, in females, it is also very important to look out for certain hormone uh, irregularities if they are having. So, it is very important to make sure that they do not have any hormone stimulation like their irregular cycles from month to month. Um, maybe certain investigations can be done for them to rule out certain uh, uh, polycystic ovarian, uh, ovarian issues or other uh, hormonal issues in females. Then there can be other triggers like lifestyle changes, a lot of makeup being used on the skin, not being washed off, uh, you know, uh, certain comedogenic or uh, acne triggering products are being used, not being washed off properly. So, these are the common triggers of acne. So, tell us doctor, what is the treatment of these pimples? Is there yeah. like some magic remedy which can take care of the pimples all together in one go or it is a so, slow process hmm. where lot of things are required to be taken care of. I think as you correctly said, everybody is looking out for that magic uh, pill or magic treatment. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have not entered into that era as yet we to have the you know magic wand or magic tablet to remove the acne. Um, acne is associated with a long process, it is a long drawn process. So, one needs to understand that for children, um, acne needs to be managed for a long drawn period. So, we have simple remedies like face washes that are available, a wide variety of face washes are available, but depending on individual skin type, the face wash uh, should be prescribed. So, for example, if it is a extremely oily skin type, uh, we have face washes made for those particular skin types, uh, but there are children who are having acne with sensitive skin as well. So, it is not that one particular type of face wash works for all, uh, it is depending on each type of skin, we customize and uh, utilize particular face washes. 
uh, there are also certain routines where uh, a child can be put into like application of certain masks once a week which are very safe from a child point of view there are prescription creams that are available tablets that are there which can be managed uh, by the dermatologist who is treating the uh, child with acne uh, certain home remedies also can be tried as we uh, you know talking about it earlier uh, so the home remedies include certain uh, masks that can be used the masks uh, which are available you know over the counter from you know certain stores can be used once in a while uh, they help in kind of clearing certain home remedies like uh, using uh, normal rose water, cucumber water are certain home remedies which are very safe that can be tried at uh, home. So these pimples many times it leaves a scar mm. and you know they go away after prolonged treatment mm. the scars remain and sometimes they remain for life. So mm. can something be done about that? Uh, we have seen many teenagers who are depressed about their looks. Mm because now they are scarred and they feel the scarring will be for life and they are socially withdrawn, they don't talk to their friends, their friends tease them and they go in a small cocoon of theirs mm -hmm. and it affects their studies, it affects their personality altogether. Mm -hmm. So what can you say about this? Yeah, I think uh, what you have you know, uh, brought up the topic bang on basically is that uh, scars do tend to form a scar in their mind basically, the acne scars. Uh, it is not something that can be taken lightly. Um, acne causing a lot of inflammation, as I mentioned earlier, tends to damage a lot of the natural skin, which tends to sink in and then form certain scars or pits on the face. Uh, with this, uh, you know, ever growing, uh, growing world with a lot of social media, people have their uh, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, different display pics on different social media. They want a clear skin. There are certain apps also that come to clean off the scars actually. But uh, what we need to know is that, that on a day to day basis when they are meeting uh, people with interviews, uh, you know, they shy away, uh, you know, when they go to their school, the children bully, the, uh, other children may bully them for the scars on the face. So it's very important to take care of acne scars. There are new, many new modality of treatments which have come for acne scars, which can be used in children very safely. You know, um, these include certain uh, liquid applications uh, which help in modulate the deeper parts of the skin and improve the skin surface. There are also certain laser treatments which are available now, light therapies available. Uh, there is even a simple thing like a skin polishing that can be done to improve the scars on the face of the child. Um, treating scars will definitely help to the child to gain more confidence. Um, you know, they will not be bullied as much as a, over a period of time. So acne scars definitely are treatable. Oh, that's interesting. Well, thank you Dr. Parveen for coming over here and spending time with us on this platform to discuss about common issues faced by teenagers. I, on behalf of SRCC Children's Hospital, I thank you uh, for this opportunity. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for me to provide my inputs.